How much gravity do you need to pull people off the surface of a planet? Let's do some nerd math. Now in the three body problem, there's a scene where the three stars of the Santi system line up and the added gravitational force starts to drag objects and people off of the planet and towards the stars. When three celestial bodies line up in a straight line, it's called a syzygy. Now we just recently experienced a syzygy when the solar eclipse happened. So the earth, the sun and the moon were all in a straight line so that the moon momentarily blocked out the light from the sun. Now this also happens every time we have a full moon. But could it happen in such a way that the force would pull you from the surface? Short answer, yes-ish. Look, when we look at the gravitational force between two bodies, we use Newton's law of gravitation. Now using this equation, we can determine the force felt by a person on the planet from each of the stars. Now, if you don't know, the story is based on the Alpha Centauri star system, which is about 4.4 light years away. So we can use the mass of those three stars to approximate the Santi solar system. Now, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B and Proxima Centauri are the three stars we're talking about. Now, since the game is simulating humans walking on the surface, we can assume the planet is the mass of the Earth with the same gravitational force that we experience holding us to the surface of our planet. Now, using Newton's second law of motion, which is F equals MA, we can work out the force that holds a person to the surface of the Earth. And for an average mass of a 70 kg human, that's roughly 700 Newtons. So in order for us to be pulled from the surface of the planet, we would need to feel a force of more than 700 Newtons to counter the gravitational pull of the Earth. This is the basic principle of rocket science. You need to thrust the rocket in the opposite direction with more force than what's holding it to the surface. But back to the Santi. Now, as they're in a stable orbit just before the syzygy, then they must be around the same distance from star A that we are from our sun. And so FA must equal F Earth. Now, using the law of gravitation, we can work out that the force that we feel from the sun is 0 0.413 Newtons. This is why it doesn't pull us away. It's nothing in comparison to the 700 that pulls us towards the Earth. Now, you might think I'm going to do the same for the next two stars, but I'm not. You see, I already did the math and it doesn't work. Not if we use the actual distances of Alpha Centauri B and Proxima Centauri. You see, they're just too far away. Alpha Centauri B is about 36 AU from Alpha Centauri A. So if it was in our solar system, it would be out past Neptune. So its force is much smaller than A. Also, the star itself is smaller. And then Proxima Centauri, well, that's only 0.122 times the size of our sun. And it's about 430 times as far away from us as Neptune would be. So those three stars lining up will not add up to enough force to pull somebody from the surface of the planet. So we have to move everything closer. And given that the Santi live in a chaotic three body system, that's entirely okay. But where do we move them to? In celestial mechanics, the Roach limit is the limit as to how close two celestial bodies can get before the smaller one is torn apart by the gravitational pull of the larger one. Realistically, even if we do move the stars as close to each other as possible, it's still not enough to pull you from the planet. And this is because the mass of star B and star C is smaller than star A. We can see this when it lines up in the scene. You can see that the other two stars are smaller as they go behind the large main one. Now, the distance of those stars is also further away. So the force felt by each of those stars will always be less than the force felt by star A. That's because with the smaller mass and a larger distance, we have a smaller force. So what we need to do is increase the force that the planet feels from star A. We need to move the planet closer. We don't even need to move the planet to its roach limit. If we did, the force felt would be around 30,965 Newtons, which is way above what we need with our 700. So if we say that we're just trying to match this 700 Newtons that holds us to the surface of the Earth, then the planet only needs to be 3.82 million kilometers from the star. Now for context, 
Mercury is 64 million kilometers from the sun. So you would be very, very close. And at this distance, it's not really about the pull of gravity that you need to worry about. It's more like the burning, fiery hell that you'd be in. So technically, it's possible. Um, you just probably be burnt to a crisp before it happened. But then again, if you're in a chaotic three body system and if things are moving quickly enough, you might just be able to break free before the planet's entirely destroyed. 